r slash ask reddit what's the best worst attempt at cheating you've seen during a test i had a spelling test in the third grade we were told to spell the word focus and at the time i was using a focus brand pencil with the brand's name along the side of it thought i was going to jail for sure i had a cyclone water bottle thought i was hot shit when it was a part of the quiz i have dermatographia it is a rare skin disease harmless but sometimes annoying basically that everything i scratch into my skin stays for around 15 minutes before fading one time we had a substitute teacher so i wrote down some answers for the test he busted me but i just denied that it was there by the time the principal came along it had all disappeared oh shit i have dermatopographia too i'd scratch my arms to death and show my teachers to get out of class calling it a severe allergic reaction neat party trick too i used to always bite the shit out of myself all over how long does it take for yours to go away mine takes upwards of two hours this guy wrote all the solutions answers at his palm when the teacher asked him to open his hand he just said i can't open it ducked me up lol i knew a guy that once wrote answers on his quad for an exam he wore basketball shorts to school that day and rolled up his pants leg to see the answers the teacher came around and asked what he was looking at then asked him to roll up his pants leg kid then accused the teacher of being a pedo i don't remember exactly what happened after but i think he got a day of detention and an f on the exam i had a teacher once who just didn't give a shit one day we had an exam where he was the supervisor and some student asked him something about a question he didn't know the answer so he just asked the rest of the class to give the right answer after that he just asked us to tell the following couple of answers as well so that we all could go home earlier as he had more stuff to do and surprisingly he doesn't work there anymore college professor told us about a kid who came into his office crying the week of finals and telling him about how his grandparents were killed in a car accident and he wouldn't be able to take the final because a funeral was on the same day professor was a nice dude he consoles this kid and tries to cheer him up and tells him not to worry about the final a little later in the day the professor is feeling bad and decides to try to get in touch with the guy's parents to offer his condolences he calls the parents who have no clue what he's talking about. Professor ended up calling the kid back to his office and calling student affairs up right then and there to report him for cheating. I believe the kid made a zero on the final. Got caught using Morse code. Dot. I see you are a man of culture. Back in college, in math tests we needed a specific sheet of paper where the math problems were supposed to be solved. So everybody had an empty one that they had to fill up and turn in when they were done. So pretty much all the students brought the whole exam written down in an extra paper. Since the professor gave the same one every semester, and just write all the problems from the cheat paper, of course hidden in a bag or under the table, to the clean one over the table. So all cool. But this absolute imbecile brought the full cheat paper, swapped the clean one with the completed cheat paper, and turned in the test. Five minutes after the test started, the teacher lost it. Everyone fails the test instantly. Pretty sure they stoned that dude afterwards. My favorite is still the student who noticed that the syllabus allowed for a 3x5 crib sheet and didn't mention any units. So she created a 3 foot by 5 foot poster with all her notes on it. The professor let it stand because she was right. He hadn't specified 3x5 inches. College Latin Final. A girl I went to high school with sits next to me. She was a year older, a cheerleader, and we were in a club together back then. We knew each other but not well. At that moment, she looked panicked. She was visibly shaking, pale, and really hungover. She grabbed my arm, leaned in really close, and in a shaky voice asked me to help. Before I could process what was happening, she scooted closer and said she would do anything. That last word drawn out in a way that I think was supposed to be sexy but in her state came out like a crack horse begging for a dollar. All I could do was shake my head slowly and say sorry. Not because I wouldn't give her the answers. I would have done that without her begging or the implied sex. Which I wouldn't have done. I didn't study either and failed myself. In middle school a girl who bullied me constantly all but shoved her head in front of my face during a math quiz. 
When I glanced at her and saw her eyes fixed on my paper she looked at me and went I'm not even looking at your test oh my good. And proceeded to get highly upset when I covered my paper the rest of the time. Basically the whole school knew of this method. I think it was developed over the years and passed on by older siblings friends. Surely the teachers must have known. But it's hard to catch. On a multiple choice quiz with A, B, C or D for answers. Kids would gently rest or tap fingers on the desk to represent the answer. You know as if they are just pondering. One finger for A, two for B, three for C and four for D. Then was a system to say which question you were asking for. Which was to grab, pull, stretch or crack your fingers. Fist closed or complete open was zero. Left thumb to pinky was one five. Right thumb to pinky was six ten. But ten was ignored. You'd do the first digit twice and the second once. You'd only really ask people around you for odd questions and hope they give you the right answer. But for sats when we were about 16 this was potentially effective for improved guessing on questions you didn't know. This is also the most impressed I have been with a college professor. Calc 3. Multiple session. 80 students each. And on test day you could come in during any session that you wanted to take it. There were also 5 tests in the semester. And you can drop your lowest, i.e. you can throw your test away before grading. It was fairly common. Unless you were trying not to take the final. So there were occasionally people that did not turn in the test before leaving. I was in the later section. And as the prof was handing out the test, he skipped over the blonde Canadian. And he was like you missed me. The prof said I gave it to you at the 8am section and carried on. He had tried to go to the earlier section to get the test, learn all the answers what is on it have all day, and turn it in with the afternoon section. And this professor recognized who he had given a test to earlier out of 200 students. Then he became known as the blonde Canadian Dumbus. A friend of mine in math class somehow got a hold of the answer key for the final exam. He then programmed the entire test into his TI-83. Now, the teachers suspected that people would cheat. So they made us clear the memory before the test. This guy saw through that and developed a macro by which the normal mem clear command could be pushed through. But he wouldn't lose his exam answers. Oh. He even threw a random generator in there that would toss in a few random incorrect answers. So it wouldn't actually look like you were just copy pasting the answers. I myself have been quite proud of manipulating the time date stamps on emails to buy myself an extra hour or so on projects essays that I wasn't quite done with. I also had a great deal of success by sending corrupted attachments. In 8th grade I cheated a couple of times. First was on a state capital test. I literally asked my friend next to me what several state capitals were and he told me. The teacher was right in front of both of us the whole time. Literally standing in front of my desk. We did not whisper. She was a bit clueless. Second was on the periodic table. We sat at those three person lab tables and I was in the middle. I had a copy of the periodic table on my lap. The two girls on either side of me kept staring at my lap. The teacher noticed the staring and made a joking comment about what could be so distracting about my lap. The girls both turned beet red and stopped looking. Teacher did not think to check any further and I aced the test. We had a French speaking test, where you had to recite a speech we had already written. Except no one could be asked to learn it. So there was this one guy who sat at the front who held his French book up like he was reading it. And on the back he held a printed version of the person's speech. Safe to say it worked because everyone did really well. Yo bro what's the answer to question X? My dude didn't even bother whispering this. Obviously the teacher heard him and we got a zero tolerance policy in my college so both students got slapped with a zero. Poor guy who got asked the question barely even knew the asker. He was just unlucky enough to be sitting next to him. A kid hit a sticky note in the top of his mechanical pencil and pulled it out when the teacher wasn't looking. After he was done with the test he ate it. Paper is not that bad to eat, unless in large amounts. Makes throat hurt. Had an open book exam at uni in first year of my bachelor's in engineering. For those who aren't familiar with the term an open book exam for us basically meant we could scribble down some notes on an A4 sheet of paper of possible useful stuff to bring with us into the exam. I had equations not on the data sheet, useful values and whatnots. Guy near me strolled in with a print off of the answer sheet for the paper. 
Not sure where he got it or why he didn't make a better attempt at disguising it. They're doing the rounds handing the papers out to them little individual desks and our lecturer comes round and just stops at this guy's desk and says at the top of his voice wait a minute. This is the answer sheet and just rips the whole thing into shreds and bins it. Not sure how the guy did on the exam. The best. I used to take a tiny piece of paper that could fit in the palm of your hand and write down a bunch of answers I needed before the test. I wrote incredibly small and could pack a ton of info on it. I was one of the first ones to get the test because of where my desk was. While the teacher passed out the tests to my fellow students I would quickly copy those answers to a blank area on the test paper but did it softly so I could erase it with ease. Once I was done I would just crumple the paper up and hide or get rid of it. It was tiny and was never seen even when I threw it on the floor. A teacher stepped on it once and had no clue. The worst. Not sure if it counts as worst cause the teacher didn't catch me but I texted my mother two of the questions that had me stumped on a test. She surprisingly sent the answers back and I was good. She wasn't mad cause I was in college and that class was hard as balls. She's a cool mama. I was told about a kid in my niece's nursing program. Kid had a smartwatch where he could access data from his phone. Prior to the tests he'd put all of the data he needed where he could scroll through it on his watch. During the final the teacher asked for all phones to be turned off or you'll get a failing grade. Someone was texting the kid during the exam. The watch the started making noises and the teacher realized he has been cheating all semester long. No idea what happened to the kid. This must have been when the Gen 1 Apple watches and Samsung devices came out. In the second grade I had a spelling pretest and the word was weather. There was a poster in the classroom with that word on it but she was staring at the class so hard that I didn't want to turn my head. Before she moved on to the next word, she sneezed and in that moment I thought I broke my neck from turning my head so fast back and forth. I may even have done a total 360 with my head I don't even know. It happened so fast. It was the one out of two words on that test I got right. The best was this girl had equations painted on her nails with such detail they had all you needed for the test. I even snuck a few looks at her nails when I was stumped. The worst I would say my classmate was using his phone and it was very clear by the glow on his face. Teacher was not pleased. When I was in 3rd grade, we had to take a math test at the end of the day for the stuff we went over. Well right before the test started, the teacher erased all the info on the whiteboard with all the answers on it. During the test, I could see the imprint of the answers still on the board. After my teacher realized I was suspiciously staring at the whiteboard very hard, she cleaned the board and the answers were gone. I didn't do very well on that test. The guy sitting next to me during an exam had a cold the same day it began. He hid his notes between the folds of his handkerchief just a few layers away from the snot. He held it openly throughout the entire test, confident that the teachers won't dare to touch the snot filled fabric. Not the worst but best cheating I've seen done is me and a buddy wrote some long ass code and basic 4 hour T89s that did calculus problems and the output showed all the work needed. Professor said we could use programs to factor and simplify. Tool about 2 days for us to type something up and it worked beautifully. Got an A in the class. Edit. This went from 0 100 real quick. Got over 2k karma off this thread. I would like to thank my neck from keeping my head held high. My legs for always supporting me. Edit 2. Those asking if I can share my program. I can't find it on my PC so straight out of luck Tikalcorg has a lot of good stuff I use all the time and it's all free. Also note, I don't condone cheating as I said in some of my replies. I did this because it saved me time I knew my shit see don't expect to have this program and pass every test you need to know how to use it. In high school, I heard about a biology test which included name 3 carcinogens. Student A didn't have a good answer, so just wrote Kathy. Student B copied it verbatim. There's a gif out there somewhere of some students writing equations on the wall. That's already completely full of equations, and the professors just don't care. Teacher was recovering from an injury and couldn't walk around, so was seated at her desk during the entire exam. Somebody taped a sheet of paper with the answers to the front of her desk where everyone in class could see it. A kid had written test answers on his leg so he could pull up his pant leg during our history test to cheat. Apparently he was writing them in front of a different teacher. 
who of course told the teacher who was testing. Before we walked into the classroom, our history teacher announced that we'd be doing a quick reenactment of soldiers in the Vietnam War and asked us all to roll up our pants to wade through the swamps. The kid's plan was instantly exposed. Back in high school we were doing this psychology exam for which our teacher had a special classroom arrangement. She made us distance our desks in order to make it harder to peek at our classmates' answers, and she would walk around the classroom like a sentinel, looking for the slightest evidence of cheating. You know she was serious about this stuff. Around 30 minutes into the exam, she suddenly stopped next to a classmate just ahead of me, and politely asked him to open his pencil case. We all knew this lad was screwed and were just expecting him to take out a small paper with some answers scrawled on it. He took about 10 full book pages ripped straight from the book, not even copies, but the original ones. I was so surprised by his bravado I let out a hyena-like cackle, cause I couldn't believe the audacity. The teacher silenced me without a single word, just looking back at me with one of the sternest faces I've ever seen. Cheating boy got sent to our prefect's office. And we never got to know what his punishment was. Since you know, he wouldn't mention a damn thing after. My friend in high school wore some prepped leggings under her skirt that had a pocket sewn on and a piece of see-through plastic sewn facing outwards. She made her cheat cards to fit that pocket and when the teachers passed, she just pulled her skirt down. Because, surprise, surprise, no teacher would ask her to lift her skirt to see if she was cheating. It was so simple, yet so genius. During the physics regents exam, I had the highest average in the class. Dome Dumbas sits next to me and says pretty loudly at one point when the teacher walked out yell them cheat off you. I kept my answers covered. I was done by the 2 hour minimum and got a 98. He failed after the maximum 3 hours. Biology test teacher. Okay, any questions before we start? Student. Yes. What does RNA means? Teacher. Apparently someone at my uni hid their phone in the toilets. Invigilators walk you to and from the toilets but wait out on the corridor. When she came out the exam and reported her phone missing it was found out. Once took an exam in which we were given topics beforehand and were expected to prepare study essays on said topics and write them once we were in the exam. Easy enough if you're a person like me who studies for the two hours preceding the exam. Showed up and started writing. Noticed halfway through that the dude in front of me had written his essays on his Apple Watch and was just copying them onto the page. He was acting super suspiciously. Always looking around but he got away with it. I once memorized a 20 page workbook for a geology test. Didn't understand a single word of it, but passed with 100%. The teacher accused me of cheating because I slept through most of the class. So I had to redo the test during lunch. Passed with 100% again. I had a couple of students teach themselves sign language so they could sign A, B, C or D to each other. I caught on and made a test with an E option and made sure many answers were E. This made them create a new symbol on the fly. I then started making two versions of the test and making sure they each had the different test from each other. This essentially solved it. But they started signing the questions to each other. I never confronted them because I was too impressed that they were teaching themselves sign language. They both got B's in my class. The worst attempt I've seen was when the kid sitting next to me kept on dropping his pen to try and see other people's answers. The best attempt I've seen was in high school. We were supposed to bring our tests up to the teacher's desk when finished and leave them on her desk. She got distracted with something in the back of the room after one of the really smart kids in the class had turned his in. So it was unattended at the teacher's desk. One of the lazier kids took his blank test to the front and copied down every answer real quick. The teacher never suspected a thing apparently. The worst I've seen was in college. Taking online quizzes in the CompC computer lab a bunch of geniuses figured they would google the answers. The professor of course was able to see all the searches being run from the lab so they all got caught immediately. He thought it was funny so he told the class about it and warned them not to try it again. Literally just had the phone between his legs. Got caught. Tried to justify by. I like when it vibrates. I was allowed one page front and back. I taped together every single slide and homework problem for class and printed in like 6 font. 
Thing was it was too big still. So I set it up that I could remove one piece of tape and have it open up like a book. Everyone around me thought I was crazy. Got an A on the test and teacher didn't like it but saw it as creative. About 10 years ago I was finishing my degree in telecommunications and computer engineering. We had applied electromagnetism and this was the final exam. Now for everyone taking that course. This was one of the most feared subjects and many were on the edge of breaking that day. So much so. One guy collapsed to the ground and was having convulsions mid exam. No background on seizures or anything like that. Just a regular dude. Me and two other dudes rushed to him to try and help him. Which we did. There were about 60 people on the auditory. Situation got under control. We're waiting for the paramedics and there's this one dude going through everybody's sheets copying the answers. Fantastic human being. The best one was this guy at my school who wrote the answers inside the label on his water bottle. If he needed an answer all he had to do was take a drink. During HS, in the early 2000s, I used to record myself reading the entire study guide of my test on a voice recorder with a small cassette tape. I would then listen to it with a single wired earbud while testing, filling in the answers as I would hear them. As a precaution I would wear a hoodie with an old school CD player in the front pocket just in case the teacher happened to see the earbud. A couple of times I was caught red handed but would pull the CD player out and tell them I was just listening to music. They would take the CD player and return it to me at the end of class. Must be so much easier nowadays with smartphones. Well, here's my story of cheating. Not about a stupid taker, but as a stupid administrator. My freshman year of high school, I was in a Spanish class with the most oblivious teacher I've ever seen. I cheated on every test, just by using Google Translate on my phone, as did everyone else in the class. Things got interesting however, when we had our final, at my high school, we had allotted times at the end of the year for finals, and one of my friends, probably the best Spanish speaker in the class, had to miss finals week. So he had filled out a test the previous week and given it to the teacher. The reason this is important is because the teacher had somehow photocopied his completed test on the back of the blank one he gave all of us. So the first half was the blank version, and the second half was the test with all the answers circled. The teacher realized halfway through the test and went around ripping off the back half. But I had already filled out my scantron, taken off the back half of the test, and put it into my backpack. He graded it a week later and I got a 94%. The best part is that there were 6 classes taking the test, I was in the first class, and I could sell the answers. Had an open book test and a programming course. Apparently our textbook that the test was based on wasn't good enough or something as this one dude who was sitting in the front row right in front of the professor brought a completely different programming textbook and was attempting to use that. I'm still puzzling to this day as to what that guy's logic was. Local university put a do not cheat poster up in the exam hall, with a picture of a hand covered in equations to demonstrate what cheating looked like. One of the equations actually featured in the exam, and a few lucky people figured it out. Not sure if that counts as cheating or not really. I google translated my entire Spanish 2 final because we did it on computer and I minimized the translate page so small I could only see a part of the text box and I would scroll down to the translation with the directional keys and infer the answer from there. The test was multiple choice. I was briefly an examiner for A level exams about 15 years ago. Here's two I saw. A young lady with ample bosoms had written notes on her cleavage. I have to admit that as a male examiner I wasn't going to report her. But later in the exam a female examiner noticed and kicked the young lady out of the exam. Another time a lad used a ruse that was pure genius. The pupils used to be able to bring sweets into the exam, not sure if they still are, and a lad had scanned a wrapper for polos into a computer. He then had deleted the ingredient info etc and replaced them with the formulas for the test, it was an A level physics exam. He had then printed this new cheat, sheet wrapper out and wrapped it back around the polos and brought it into the exam with him. I only caught him because I was curious about why he found the nutritional information of the mint with the hole so fascinating during such an important exam. I was having difficulty with a simple chemistry test that we were required to pass. 
We had as many attempts as we needed until the semester was over. All we had to do was match the chemical names to their compound names or something to that effect. I tried. And tried. And tried until I decided to try cheating. I got a bunch of pencils and wrote the answers on the side so I could reference them during the test. I copied the info straight from our reference sheets. It still took me 3 more tries. Someone wrote all the equations on the desk for a math test and the period before me so when I took the test I had everything I forgot. When I was at university, teacher caught a friend of mine cheating. We had to take the test at a computational laboratories due to a lack of a better space to do it. As you can imagine, each student was sit in front a computer. Teacher was the only responsible of the exam. We were around 30 people and the distance he had to walk was quite long. My friend had the awesome idea of sit at the end of the classroom so he would be able to watch where teacher were. He turned on his computer and googled answers when teacher was not looking. He turned monitor off every time teacher was near. How was he caught with this amazing performance? Well, teacher noticed the little green lead on the PC was on. Then he just turned on the monitor and discovered my friend cheating. He was suspended and almost failed the course. During the leaving cert, which is final school exams in Ireland I was supervising assistant for the exams as a student, which meant I sat outside and brought the students to the toilet and brought the person supervising the exams tea. I had to bring this student, who was on my water polo team to the toilet. As he left the cubicle the toilet seat fell down revealing a book hidden behind the seat resting diagonally. I didn't report him and destroyed the evidence lol. Wasn't very good at my job. A guy I know had a roommate that worked in the university print shop. He would pay the guy $20 to get him to print one extra copy of the upcoming tests. He would then sit up late at night and take the test, with help from other classmates if needed, and then take that to the actual test, and swap out the papers before he turned it in. If it was a blue book situation, he just had a cheat sheet with B, C, A, D, B, a written on it. Guy had his phone between his legs during a physics final. Professor caught him and the kid then tried to argue his way out. I had to go to the bathroom during the same final. Drinking water due to final stress. Handed my phone over to the professor. School I went to was pretty much all STEM. And hated cheating. If you cheated, auto fail for the quarter. And if you did it multiple times, you were almost guaranteed to be kicked out. Well it's a STEM school so most people bring their calculators to tests and finals. And that makes sense. The problem was someone who brought their TI-89 to their bio 310 final. Where there were approximate checks note 0 math questions. Prof clearly saw this. And was not shocked but not surprised after confiscation that this student had the entire study guide and several practice test questions stored in the notes section of their calculator. Like. We're talking 10 pages of notes that you can only view in a 2x3 screen. Instant fail. Think they dropped out after that. Which kinda sucks cause bio 310 is like more than halfway done with undergrad. Had a biology teacher in 10th grade that always gave out a practice exam that was literally the test. I don't know if he was just lazy or what. The first page or so was always multiple choice. Usually followed by true false. My friend would print out cheat sheets with just the letters that were small enough to hide under a large pink eraser and sell them at school. Made a killing. My calculus teacher doesn't let us use a graphing calculator but allows us to use Desmos. I couldn't tell you why. So I intended to cheat on an exam by logging in equations and whatnot into a custom graph as notes. You can log in and have an account with graphs you've made. The simple act of inputting the equations into the graph before the exam and practicing using them on practice problems was enough for me to memorize them. Come exam day I didn't even log into my account. I knew what I needed to, just by practicing to cheat. Bro, you made it to the end, you're a ducking beast, I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content moite. It's free and that's a great price.